It has been really frustrating to me to hear people ignorantly excusing a 17-year-old possibly committing sexual assault as boys will be boys. Okay. I am a victim of a pedophile when I was a kid, someone who was much older than me. Okay. And those are the things that they do. I have never admitted that on television. I didn't tell my mom that until I was 30 years old. A family member told me just this past week about her own experience. Out of the blue, she texted me. And she said, this is a quote, I believe her because I'm a product of the Me Too movement. And I texted right back and I said, what? No way. Why didn't you say anything? And she replied, shame. I thought he loved me. I realized that I was still justifying behavior. And it was my mom who said, no, 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 Laura, that was sexual assault. That was harassment. That was assault. No, you were 14 then. You were, and you realize how, um, in our culture, how we have justified and therefore even condoned behavior as though it's the norm. I have my own experiences that have come back to me very vividly, and I found it really hard to sleep, um, hard to think, hard to communicate. Uh, a lot of the feelings I've been having about anxiety, about being honest, um, the guilt for not speaking up earlier. And he was sticking his tongue out overtly sexually to me. I mean, it was no mistake that this was a, a, a sexual type tongue move, and I'm going, and I'm thinking it's a joke. I'm thinking, is this how this guy breaks the ice? I don't understand what this is. I reach my hand out, and he he takes his right hand and under mine and immediately squeezes, grabs my genitals, and just and I'm jump back like, hey, 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 mm -hmm. whoa. Why weren't you? You're a big, powerful man. Why didn't you? Be Senator, as a black man in America. Say it as it is, I think it's important. You only have a few shots at success. You only have a few chances to make yourself a viable member of the community. The way he looked at me, the way he giggled, it was, it was one of those things where he was like, hey man, you know, no one's ever gonna believe you. In my life, it hasn't mattered if the person was 17 or 70. The pain and the damage are real and it never goes away.